All right, so once you get the two screws off, you just move the lids, you know, outward, pop off the cover, and um, you got the back side of the PCB on this side being protected by this uh, piece of plastic, and here's the regulator. We're gonna unclip this, twist this off, And there's a lot of oil in here, as you can see. We're gonna to try to take this apart, clean it out. Here's the filter itself. I believe this used to be white. You got your gasket, then this little piece of uh, plastic here. See, it used to be white. So we're gonna try to clean it out. We don't have a spare one. And um, we're gonna try to push some air in through here, you know, just keep pulling the trigger and um, see if we can clean out the hose. Um, hopefully there's not a lot of oil in here, but the oil will uh, over time destroy your lines and um, I forgot what this is called, the bowl. It'll destroy the bowl. So oh, here we got the little uh, filter system, the filter element, and I mean this is dirty, it's going to have to be replaced, but um, It'll at least let us uh, test out the, the plasma cutter. All right, guys, so I was able to clean the bowl. I just don't know how to take this bottom section off. It's a little bit different than the, the Power Max. But um, I took off all the oil that was in here. I cleaned this section here with uh, some Dawn soap. So this section is good, this one's good, I'm just going to wipe down the bottom and reinsert it into the plasma cutter. And that should be pretty much it for the filter. Everything else here looks pretty good. Next thing to do is put the cover. And nope. We got the cup on. Uh, on there again all right guys so I think I know what the issue is this section here that holds the electrode it's supposed to have like a spring there and I feel it like it's all the way back so I need to find out a way to clean it or work around it to make it pop out to the front see if that'll uh, make contact I feel like this is kind of like staying apart versus you know touching All right, guys, so I uh, I use some electric cleaner in here. It does feel like there might be some gunk in there, like oil. And that little brass section there did pop out. So we're gonna put the swirl ring back in there. We're gonna put the consumable we're using right now. And um, turn it on, see if it does anything different.
And what do you know guys? So that's how you fix uh, Spectrum 625 plasma cutter. I got a bad, uh, well it's not bad, it's just uh, a dirty piece of plate here. Try it again.